Okay, here's another tip, this time around um, capturing single leg off of a trip around the exposed front leg from a shoulder or any kind of clinch really, but prim primarily the shoulder clinch. So I'm going to start in shoulder clinch from here and let's take a secondary grip in this instance. We're going to take a, a secondary wrist grip from here. And what I'm going to be doing is capturing the single leg but using an initial takedown or trip element to uh, get Charlie effectively to guide his own leg into my grip. So normally if I'm shooting a single leg from here, it's a very effective position to shoot it from. I can be dropping level and shooting straight into the uh, single leg capture from here. But if Charlie feels this coming and he starts sprawling this leg back from here as I shoot, bang, and he sprawls, even if I get hold of it there, I can get sucked into a poor position. So let's say I manage to get hold of his leg, but he's already sensed it coming and he starts to sprawl bang from there. And then I start to get myself into a stretched out poor position. So one of the things I can do in order to capture that leg a little bit cleaner is get this person, if there's any way, I can get this person to lift his leg. And one of the ways I can get him to manipulate this leg upwards is by putting him in a trip situation. So a natural reaction for Charlie is I go to trip his leg, either like this or inwards, like this is for him to lift it, to extract himself. So if we're in a position like this, notice here we're on opposite stance, so I'm able to get cleanly behind his leg. If we're in opposite positions here, I've got my right leg forward, he's got his left leg forward, and I'm in here in a tripping motion. To defend that, he's going to step that leg out. What happens as he steps his leg out is he raises it up into a nice um, potential for a single leg capture for me. So just straighten up towards me again. So we're here, shoulder and wrist clinch. I'm going to come in nice and deep, and in this instance, I'm going to go for a little trip around the back of the leg. The um, emphasis isn't on the trip here, it's on the effect it has on the single leg. So I'm going to trip on this leg, bang, and as I do this, Charlie's got to lift his leg to counter. As he lifts his leg to counter, I'm going to capture from there. It doesn't have to be that accurate in terms of timing, or even that smooth, or even that smooth, uh, the, uh, the timing can be a little one after the other, a little sequential, and it'll still work out fine. So from here, I'm getting my shoulder and wrist clinch, coming into this trip position, giving Charlie a quick trip, and from here he reacts, and as he reacts, I shoot down from there. It could be that the takedown's working out quite successfully, or that he defends it, either way you've got a shot. So let's do it in this instance where he defends it. So Charlie's just gonna naturally react by lifting his leg up to avoid the trip. So I'm here, he senses me go for the trip, he goes to avoid, and from there, as he goes to avoid, I capture into single leg. This is a really nice effective way of doing it if you can get nice and deep on that front leg. You can also do it from the trip around the outside to the inside. This position here, so the same effect takes place. I come in like this, Charlie to avoid, lifts his leg up to try and step back over. So just do a natural step back over, come towards me a bit, John. So we're here in a clinch, I go to trip, he steps over. As he steps over, again, leads me into the single leg capture. So that's creating a single leg capture opportunity off of a trip around the front leg, either an inner leg trip or calf trip position from here.